Um, hey, what's up, YouTube viewers? Um, <clears throat> it's me, uh, Lego Dude, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. And I'm here to show you uh, what I think are the top 10 city apps. Uh, I'm gonna be counting down in reverse, so 10's gonna be my least, well, my least favorite of my favorites. And number one's gonna be my most favorite. So, starting at number 10, I'm going to have to start with, uh, GBC 80X Plus. I have a city of folder right here. And that would be this one right here, the little Game Boy symbol. It's an old Game Boy Color. Basically, what you do is you have to go into the internet and download um, certain games. Like you can't see it right now because it's all white. It's kind of hard to see that. But right here, I have um, I'd love to show you, but I have a Pokemon game right here. It's the old Pokemon Crystal, which is like one of the procedures to uh, yellow, black, gold, and silver. And it actually works like a real Pokemon game. I can save my games on it and stuff. Sorry about all the noise. But yeah, and it actually works. There's a button that says continue right here. And that's me. Right there in the middle of the field. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. You barely see me there. Right there in the middle of the Pokemon field. And you can just press menu, which is at the very top, and leave. And you find games through pressing the find games button at the top. So that's number 10, uh, GBC 80X Plus. Next at number 9, we have MIM, or Make It Mine. This little yellow one right here. Oof, right there. You go into it, and literally it does what it says. See how right in the corner, I don't know, you can't see it really, but it says My Touch right there. Now normally it would say uh, I Touch, but it does not, because I changed that actually. And I'm trying to get away from the glare a little bit. It's from glare mainly that you guys can't see it, actually. Well, anyways, it says my touch right there instead of iPod. So what you do is you put in whatever you want it to say. Oh, crap. What the heck? I'm sorry, I don't know what just happened. I must have hit an ad accidentally. Yeah, it does have some ads in some of the apps, so... Be careful about that. All right, let me reopen that for you guys. So what you do is you got tap the white, and you type in whatever you want. Let's just say I wanted that. I don't even know what it says. It's like I didn't put in anything. I put in random letters, just random letters. Yeah, you guys can see that kind of. Just really random letters. Um, and what you would do is you would press uh, carrier or banner depending on what you want. My banner isn't working though so I'm not going to do it. And I don't want to change my carrier. You would press it and then you would hit respring which would then shut off your iPod and reboot it and it'll say whatever you put in. So yeah, that's make it mine. Coming up at number 8 we have SB settings. Probably the most common one. Everybody knows about it. Uh, I have mine set so I slide right across the top. And, or, hold on. There we go. And it has a whole list of things you can do. I downloaded this calculator widget. You just gotta click it. And boom, a calculator. It's a pretty basic calculator though. Um, then there I have Wi-Fi. I can turn that on and off from right here. And there's processes. I don't even understand. It's sort of like supposed to free up memory or something. Whatever. Um, oh. Dang it, there we go. I don't know what data does. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. Then uh you'll be this will be part of my later ones. This one right here called manual correct. Let me go up into it. The one right next to data, you can't see it, it has a little A in a box though. Okay, let me try and get it for you guys. I'll make it red. Red's easier to see for some reason. See? Little A in a box. I'll explain that later, but yeah, I downloaded that one too. And coming up at number seven, it's MX Tube, little TV icon right there. Basically, what you do is you can watch YouTube videos without internet connection. When you're at home or wherever you have internet connection, you can download any video. Here, watch. I'll turn off Wi-Fi so I can prove it to you. And Wi-Fi off. 
There you go. It's off now. And I'm still going to be able to watch this in HD quality. So what's cool you do is you download them and then later you can watch them. I'll show you how to download them in a second. Oh my god. This is Bry Size, um, but this is by the way Bry Size, uh, I'm a Call of Duty pro. I own no rights to that or anything. Just, just so I don't get in trouble for copyrights or anything. I just download that because I love it. Basically, you press a uh, search. Type in your YouTube video. Right up here, if it would load. There we go. Let's do a uh, Fred. I get. Oh, I'm so bad at typing upside down. I'll show you guys this. Fred and search. Ooh, gosh. Search. There we go. Yes, since I turned off Wi-Fi, though it's not going to connect, but it'll connect and it'll show you um, a list of all the Fred videos, and you can download them. And you have to have the app open to download. It's the one problem with it. That's why it's why it's cool like a number seven, not a number like three. Um. At number six, I can't really show it to you other than going by going into settings and going down to gravel board, as it's called. There you go. Gravel board. It's the one right below the red dot. Or it's actually gravy board. Sorry. Uh, gravy board, yes. Oh, crap. Gravy board. I have it set so like it normally would be set. Um, you hold down the home screen button for a couple seconds until you see a little down arrow. Then you can just play around with all the apps inside it. Whee. You can grab one, flick around. And actually, there's a way in settings to turn it on so you can actually still click into the app while it's all f swarming around. See? Alright. That is number six. Now, at number five, we have one of the things you probably saw earlier. Uh, let me turn on Wi-Fi, though. Um, manual correct. I have heard such funny stories about auto correct, about how auto correct messes everybody up. Uh, this one guy had a phone, and he w and he's texting his girlfriend. This is a true story. Um, and the girlfriend texts, "My grandpa is sick. He might die." So the boyfriend texts back. Um, I hope he dies, but manual correct change, auto correct, I mean, changed it to, I hope he dies. So, th what this does, basically, is this cancels out auto correct unless you purposely tap on the word and change it. So, like, instead of, like, whenever you press space bar, it won't do that anymore. It'll still be the same. That's why I love manual correct, because, like, manual correct, I spent ten minutes trying to name my folder Cydia. It kept coming up with Curia like 10 times before it finally came up. Then gave me Syria a couple times. I mean, it was just horrible. Then I started using Manual Correct, so that's nice. Um, so, coming at number four. Oh my god, bet this is amazing. Uh, for all you people who already have Cydia and hate this problem, alright, normally you cannot delete Cydia apps without going into Cydia clicking modify and clicking delete but what you do is side delete after you download it you just you can just delete it like you would normally see now I can actually delete them normally all of them except for city anyways and uh, settings is in there too um but yeah that is side delete really helpful actually coming in number three uh, I'm actually gonna give you an example right now it's called winterboard my background and icons are all customized through winterboard um, Winterboard right now has a little um, icon symbol. That one right there. It's a little weird right now. Normally, Winterboard is a snowflake image, but with, when you change it with themes, uh, that happens. I have a ton of different themes here. And what you do is you were to click on one of the themes. I'm not going to do it. And then. Normally there would be a button after you clicked on one right here that says respring. You hit it and it will respring your iPod like I explained earlier. And you will have the theme or whatever you did to it. Like I have dim icons on right now. You can see If you can see the icons are a little bit faded. It's called dim icon. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's winter board. 
Next, coming in number two, Infinidoc. A lot of people know about this one. It gives you an infinite dock. Which really is helpful. And I also use infinity folder, but I don't find that very helpful since like I don't really like to make huge folders anyways, because I like to have different folders for every little type of game. So yeah, infinity dock. Or infinity dock. I don't know how to actually pronounce it. It looks kinda funny. Infidoc, Infinity Doc. I've heard it's pronounced a couple different ways. Uh, my favorite though, you just saw it probably, is a barrel. Here's an example. See how it turns into a circle on my apps and curls away? It's called barrel. So basically, um, you can go in your settings after downloading barrel. Oh, dang it, there. Go down to barrel mode and you choose one from a lot of them um, let me see I'll do a uh, icon collection just because it's an easy one to see hope it doesn't respring or anything no there we go and see now it just gathers and undoes so yeah it's barrel I love barrel so much because it's so much fun to play with just all the different stuff a lot of people put barrel as number five, but I think like a lot of people love it when they just show it to your friends here and they're like, Whoa, how did you do that? It looks so cool. And you barely have to remember, you're just flipping through your iPod pages. So I actually love barrel. So, um, yeah. Now before I go, I actually have to say something very important with a jailbreaking. I hope you guys haven't left yet, because this is like the most important part. A lot of these apps you have to use this. I will write this in the description too. Cydia.xlize.com. A lot of the Cydia apps I have are paid for, but I did not pay for them at all with this. Basically, what this does is it ha creates a second version of every single one, um, so you can have like it for free. And I will write that in the description for you guys. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, bye. Oh, and I will be posting a tutorial on how to jailbreak later. So thank you once again. Bye. Uh. Oh my god, it's like so bad for crash. Yeah, I'm Call of Duty Pro. Oh, please don't break. Please don't break. Yeah, I'm a Call of Duty Pro. Drop showing kids wherever I go. I've got the skill. Holy freaking crap. If this thing breaks down, after all that, I'm gonna freaking kill somebody. God, this thing's just trying to load the video. God, I hate this.